Bazinga! Welcome to our weekly review of every new episode of Young Sheldon Season 7. After leaving the family separated, devastated and frustrated at the end of Season 6, we are back on track to find out how Sheldon and his mommy manage their German semester while the family deals with the aftermath of the tornado that tore up Mimo's house and scattered the money from her gambling room, which Pastor Jeff knows about but won't do anything about. Get ready for a lot of rhyming and alliteration because we will talk a lot about the plot. You see what I did there? Alrighty then, get your Big Bang Theory hat on to follow the family after the tornado slash twister. Mandy and Georgie's baby Cece reminds me, of course, of our own baby Advitya Akshat. She is happily cooing away, blissfully unaware of the tornado's appetite for destruction, like Gulls and Roses, whose frontman Axel Rose is one of Georgie's idols, as he told Cece in season 6. Mommy Mary is flustered and wants to fly back, bulldozing George Sr.'s attempts at reason. The gem of Lady Hysterics is when George says they couldn't call because the phone lines weren't down. To which Mary straight up and completely nonsensically says, that's no excuse. <laughs> I roll. At the end of this conversation is a grandstand ironical moment. Mary says to George, when is Sheldon ever happy? Cut to Sheldon enjoying the best pretzel ever and declaring so in German. <laughs> in comes the intro to season 7 of Young Sheldon, which is going to be its last of Wiedersen. The bull has been rammed up and Georgie Jr. waves it back, showing off his newfound status as the man of the house, even if his house is only a garage. Also, Mandy and Cece are in the tableau, which signals that there might be a spin-off series focusing on the young Texan couple. Insurance companies, don't even get me started. The less one has to do with them, the better. The adorable Annie Potts as Mimo is well known to us old-timey cult movie aficionados from Ghostbusters. But let's not play the game of which actor played who, else we will never recover. As expected, Sheldon doesn't want to return deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> but Mommy wants to get back to where she belongs faster than a German Volkswagen Beetle. Talk about opposites. <laughs> Connie and Dale fight like an old Bonnie and Clyde and Mimo shifts into the already overcrowded Scooper residence, which is how Sheldon answers the phone quite often. Connie brings in the baby and shushes Dale because Cece is sleeping and I for 100% totally get that. Parenting is awesome acts in all sorts of ways. I have had some incredible and unbelievable experiences in my 38 years on earth, but the past 13 months have been, and I know I'm repeating myself, awesome max. Plus, we got to travel with Advitya to our ancestral homes, and even two of the places I had grown up in Bihar, in India. I am infinitely privileged that I was able to take Advitya to the place in Patna where I grew up as an infant. On that note, check out our travel vlog with Advitya to Bihar, including to the world-famous Nalanda University ruins, Rajgil World Peace Pagoda, Ghoda Katora aka Horse Bowl Lake, and the Jal Mandir or Water Temple at Pavapuri. And that is just a little bit of our Bihar trip. Since you are this far into our journey into Young Sheldon as well as my life, this is my travel book, A Life Afloat, available on Amazon at the link below. It covers my bachelor days travels along with insights into my personal philosophy. Six Arism, which is how we must deal with life. I say that because even in the make-believe, fake, real lives we have been seeing unfolding on the screen, people have no choice but to try and recover their normal routines, little by little. That is an Oasis shout out. And just as I wrote this sentence, the fuse in the corridor blew out. Talk about serendipity and the unpredictable nature of life, whether in urban or natural areas. We tend to think that we are safe from nature's fury inside our high-rise cement towers, but a passing thunderstorm can render all our modern amenities useless. We should be prepared. 
A similar mindset is shown by adult Sheldon in the Big Bang Theory when he shows the way he has kept for minor and major doomsdays, both with emergency stashes and mentally. Coming back to life of young Sheldon, shout out to Pink Floyd, his mom gets her first taste of German beer and is instantly smitten, which bodes very well for our young protagonist to stay. The C plot of the episode, which involves Pastor Jeff's wife buying a Trinitron with money that was blown over from Mimo Connie Annie Potts' annihilated house, is resolved in the way most God-fearing characters do with an unexpected but quite welcome addition to the Cooper residence's living room. The sinful Trinitron restored to those who deserve to enjoy it the most. If you enjoyed this roundabout recap come review of Young Sheldon Season 7 Episode 1, a wiener schitzel and underwear in a tree, do make sure to smash that sub button for awesome acts fun and check out our blog, travel videos and sports shots. Thank you.